my guest tonight or today, depending where you are, Michael Sweet from Striper over here. What's up, Michael? What's going on, brother? I'm here at home with my cap on and my glasses on, as <laughs> usual, uh, being myself, you know? And we have former drummer from Breaking Benjamin, Chad Saliga, who's uh, impersonating Santa Claus. Is, is that the look we're going with? I'm going with the tie-dye surf Santa Claus, yeah. <laughs> the the, the tie-dye shirt Santa Claus. Guys, yeah. I am, I'm so glad I got both of these here. Um, Michael, first of all, congratulations on the final battle, yeah. the album, the, la the latest that Striper just came out with. Uh, you guys have been doing a tour. Um, great stuff. You want to elaborate a little more on that? What's been going on with that album? Yeah, man. Well, we haven't officially toured yet for the album. Uh, we've been touring. Uh, then we released the album. And then next year, we're going to focus on supporting the album, you know, right. performing songs from but we're it's it seems to be well received. Fans seem to like it. Right. Critics seem to like it, and you know we're we're pleased with it. I mean, I put it in and listened to it. I'm very happy with how it turned out, man. I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, but I seen you popping up on, on some of the shows and stuff, which I thought was cool. You did the Kiss Cruise and all that stuff, and you know this was really interesting. You and Sebastian Bach finally came to terms. And you know, bury the hatchet, so to speak. And now you guys are friends, which is really cool. So on the back side, let's just tell the listeners who did not know that you had a big falling out, um, what happened to bring that falling out, and then you guys actually reunited. So please elaborate on that one. Yeah, well, I mean, I did an interview with Eddie Trunk a few years back, and uh, I was asked by Eddie about the possibility of me producing a Sebastian album uh, because I had been asked by the label. So I just went into detail and with nothing but respect, at least I, I believe, uh, right. talked about how I feel like it'd be great to make an album that the fans, you know, want to hear going back to the roots of Skid Row, the glory days, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then Sebastian wasn't too thrilled about the interview, and he made some comments on Twitter, and it just kind of escalated from there. And then I made comments about him, and we went back and forth. A long story short, we were on this cruise recently, and my wife met his wife, Suzanne, and they started talking. I was talking to Par Gargano, Metal Edge, and Rika, and... We all just started talking. They started talking to Sebastian about us doing a song together and wow. burying the hatchet. And we wound up doing it. And people say, yeah, it wasn't real, but it was 100% real. It was uh, real. I, 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 it, Michael, yeah. I, I know you, Michael. <laughs> I know you for at least eight years. <laughs> I know you pull no punches. And it, it, it was not rehearsed or anything like that because it was, it was like when I saw Sebastian go to hug you, I'm like, and you were like, is this okay? Should, should I hug the dude? Is this all right? You know, I, I saw a little hesitation, but you wanted to, but I saw the hesitation. But that's cool that you guys buried the hatchet. I'm so, I'm so glad, and I have a lot of respect for Sebastian Bach on that. So, um, um, yeah, I do too. I do too. And, you know, it's it's been great. We exchanged information and we're planning on having dinner sometime the next time we're in Vegas. And he's been, he's been a real sweetheart, man. And he's, yeah. he said some things that, touched my heart you know about faith in god and uh it's really incredible to see it really is exactly i i saw a different sebastian bach and that was not rock stars usually don't fake stuff they they say what they say and, and that's it there's no filter chad you uh being a man of faith okay and that's why you're on the show here yeah. um did you ever have any encounters of, of, of your past, you know, uh, with other big name artists and, and then came together um, and, and to the grace of God, you know, that you guys are talking now. Did you ever have that, that type of incident that Michael had? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not going to mention who, but I usually do like, a, 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 I would say a routine every night. I usually practice a lot and then I pray. And I used to get made fun of all the time for it. And people would make fun of me. And I was like, well, <laughs> cool, whatever. You know, I'll bring I'll bring my uh, s'mores and hot dogs when you're roasting. But uh, so I would pray. And then long story short, 
years and years and years and years go by and the person shows up at my house and he goes, you know, do you see anything wrong? And I'm like, or different. And I go, yeah, where's your ring? He goes, I'm divorced. And uh, I put God last. I put my family and everything. And I just want to apologize to you because um, I was jealous. Wow. That you had faith and you put him first. And I didn't. And so I started to realize that, like, nobody's perfect. We're all trying to do what we do as as humans. And, you know, life is too short to hold grudges. And, you know, I look at, like, what Jesus went through. He got ridiculed and everything. It's no different than being a Christian. It comes yeah. with the territory. It's like when you, when you get born again or when you get saved, it's like, those are the things that come with it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> as as people, as musicians, um, just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean I'm perfect either. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we all we all fall short. And uh, to, to hear the story with you know Sebastian Bach and Michael, it's cool that they they can make amends and say, you know what this is what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to fight each other. Yeah. Um, but things happen, you know, so. Hey guys, it's Frankie D. Please hit the subscribe button. To check out a lot of our celebrity highlight interviews and so much more.